Yo, what up, what up, what up? This is your boy King Series straight from Busy Home Beat. And in today's video, um, there's an Afro beat, a danceable Afro beat over here. And um, I'm just going to break it down for you guys how I made this kind of Afro beat here. So please, if you are new to this channel and you like whatever your boy is doing on this channel, please make sure you subscribe to support your boy, like, and also comment to this video. And trust me, your time will never be wasted. Okay, so without wasting my time, let's just get into the video. So, um, I would like to break it down for you guys first before um, we listen to it. Okay, let's listen to some part of it then. I'll just break it down for you guys, yes. So, whatever, uh, whatever it is, then you know, okay. Okay, very beautiful Afro beat, danceable one over here. Okay, the truth is, um, making a beat sometimes is easy for you, some people and other things, but the mixing part becomes a headache for you. Um, so I always say, whenever you are making your beat, you just have to imagine everything, how you want it to sound, and everything in your head before you start to um, do anything to it. And making a beat, everything starts from the scratch. You know, whenever you are building a house, you are building a house, and your foundation is not actually good. You know your house wouldn't um you know what i'm talking about so your foundation your sound selection and everything matters over here so let me break it down for you guys today we are breaking it down we are not um showing you how to mix it has not been mastered yes so this is the arrangement so i started with the drums sometimes i do start with my melody and everything but this time around i started with the drums so the drums goes like this afrobeat with a tempo of 128 and I did swing it around 24%. Okay, so this how it goes, the drums. So you can actually see so many things are going on over here. So if I'm supposed to, um, so there's the kick, uh, just a street kick, a full beat street kick. Then um this snare. So th for the snare, it was too noisy. You get it. So if you bring it like this, I sound. Yes. So mixing it, I just have to make sure um, I tighten it up. I didn't want any um delay sound after it has been hit. Yes. For the uh, for the uh, so for the beat to be clean you just have to be doing all those small small things over there and this one the clap so that one to i cut the two so if i just remove it this i sound you get it so i just cut it to make it clean so the clap to the same afro beat the normal afro beat bounce so i just combine that one with the snare and it goes like this so simple then i started adding some percussions to it you get it with this um the kick the slap uh, the clap and the snare all are good but you just have to add some percussion to make it feel okay i added the conga and the conga i just cut it out to like yes without so you can see it's really so um it's not actually heavy and there's a whole lot of reverb and room noise on it so i have to just make it so tight by doing that so it just comes once the move so get it like that then the next thing is this sound high hat or shaker or something yes this is a shaker yes for that one too i cut the, some of the tails out to make it tight yes so nice one then i added this storm yes this storm so that one too i cut some of the low so if i just 
can see that it has some till delay till and you get it so i didn't want that one inside this it's okay and what i did on the mixer track for this conga is um i just put an eq called the some of the low ends and some of the high ends that's why it sounded like that so without the eq um this how it's going to sound that i didn't want it that way so just do it this way yes so the next thing that i added is um this dark snare to support the the tom it, it plays at the same time when the tom also plays yes that one too i cut i cut some of the tails out to make it tight so if i bring it look at how it sounds some reverb so i just have to cut that one out okay so with that one too we have nice one i didn't put any effect on it just like that then i added this um it's a human voice yes and for that one if you listen to it okay let me play it for you to listen then i put an effect on it this how and i tweak the velocity to just to make it um feel like a human doing something get it it shouldn't be so stick on the grid all right so i put an eq called the low ends and i put a reverb on it make sure i tweak it to this side and i re i reduce the room size also cause some of the low ends and then i adjust the amount that is supposed to happen on on it so without the effect this i sound so with the effect on it yes it pushes it back for other frequencies to happen because dance up a whole lot of percussions and everything are happening here so i have to make sure i pan them and um, make sure the reverb also creates some spaces for other frequencies to happen you get it yes and this sound so and that one i panned it to the um, right side i did some panning on this yes for you for your time not to be wasted we'll be moving a little faster you get it and this and this i think it's a loop you get it when you click on it yes but i brought it inside there just to um do one or two things on it so with that one on it too it comes once then the last thing is um this thing over here yes this now okay you get it so um that's i think that's all for the drums so if i'm combining everything now okay so for for the clap and the snare i put eq and cut the low ends because whatever is happening here is just noise nothing good over there you get it um and the cake comes inside okay so after the drum then i just started playing some melodies over here so i did started with this i wanted to use some um, orchestra sounds and everything by the end of the day i saw that it wasn't actually catchy with me so i started changing some sound over here so i started with this chord progression this is how it goes yes 
so if you look at the mixer track what i'm having here is um my um eq to cut the low and some of the low ends and i put a reverb on it just to create some space for it and if you look down here i've just make it stereo around 16 percent you get it if you bring it to this side it's stereo if you move it to this side it's mono get it so yeah so i've made it stereo by bringing the other side and lowering the volume yeah. and most of the time whenever you are making and mixing you'll be don't depend too much on your um your meters yes these meters and everything you might be lowering them down and your beat wouldn't be strong as heavy as you want you get it so use your ears and don't depend on that one too much okay so the next thing is the same chord progression but with different sound so So with difference, I just copied it and pasted it over and just changed the sound. So on that one too, I'm having um, my EQ cutting the low ends and also giving it some reverb. And you can see that I brought the dry uh, thing down, uh, dry, dry knob down a little bit and push this ones up just to create space for the first um, chord progression so that you can hear both of them, but um, it wouldn't be crashing too. And this one too, I made it a little bit more than, uh, more stereo more than the first one. So 41% stereo, you get it. If you look down here, you can actually see it. Yes. So after this melody, the next thing is um this sound. Just to uh, some lead. this i can even tweak um the velocity just to make it feel more humanizing more than like that so there was one too i have eq cutting the low ends and also putting a reverb on it that one too i brought the dry up the dry knob down a little bit and push this one up and i cut some of the low ends here just to give you space for those other frequencies because this is a danceable and i want the um the drums to be um, dominating more than the melodies you get it you have to understand your sounds you do you want your melodies to be popping up too much more than your drums or your drums to be popping out more than your melodies i want my drums to be popping out more than my melodies so i have to create spaces for the drums to happen so that you feel the groove you get it you want to dance and the next melody i played is this okay let me just <laughs> and on the mixer track too um, i don't have any effect on it i just pan it to the right side and this how it sound yes so the last thing um i think the last melody that i think i added is this i just wanted to use it as an intro so um this one too is from nexox the same chord progression as we started over the head um, just with a different sound mm -hmm. okay nice one i i don't have anything on it i just make sure i can stage the volume so that everything will be nice you get it so you see so that's all that i did so the last one is um i think the bass yes the bass just a straightforward bass here from nexus and i think it's an expansion sound buzzer beat growing something something yes expansion sound so with that one this i just a straightforward the way the chord progression is moving the same way the bass is moving Yes, and I didn't want the bass to be um, dominating too much. I want the kick to hit in there so that 
whenever it hits you will feel it and the base will be just supporting so i put i just did um side chain into this um the base and then after that you know how we do side chain then then the next thing i did is i put a distortion on it so without the distortion this is how the bass sound so with a distortion on it and i control the amount of distortion i want on it using this this is a stock plugin from um fl studio so i control if i'm using all of them this high sound so i just brought it down around 50 percent and i like it that way you get it yes you don't have to be doing too much it depends on what you really want to achieve so after this these are all the songs so after this what i did next is um my sound transition drum rules and everything those things matters a lot you get it so you don't have to be joking and playing with drum fills and drum rules it helps your beats and everything so this is the first thing just to uh, start the beat i have this crash over here nice one then this then i have this drum rule the, okay the crash i've played it then this sound and i also have this one Yeah, so these are all the sound transition the drum rules and everything that i used maybe so please if you like whatever i'm doing here let's listen to the beat some part of the beat once and for all and then after that we are so if you like whatever i did on this channel make sure you subscribe to support you but like and also comment to this vi video i hope your time was never wasted yes it's your boy king series and i'm out